talking about to even um, come to this place of groups? What what were we saying that made me think that I needed to address this group? Uh, uh, how everybody behaviors. was miserable earlier. How everybody was angry in the group earlier. Anna, you said something about like oh betrayal, like because yes, betrayal. you cannot talk that. How does HIPAA law apply yeah. with the group versus yeah. public behavior? How the immunity is not given? Yeah. Uh, because because the way the whole addiction world is some sort of a betrayal that happened, whether the father betrayed, mother betrayed, brother, sister, community, mm -hmm. pastor, yeah. right? Yeah. That's how it starts. A friend, like one guy told me, he he was in a football field. He, he was an athlete. He broke his shoulders, and his friend gave him here's body pills. So, you know you're gonna be better. So you're bodies, right? Like, so you start using pills, mm -hmm. and then one day he got a powder, and his friend says, "Oh, I crushed them for you. Don't worry." Mm -hmm. So he doesn't understand. Yeah. This is what he's getting into, and then oh, eventually yeah. he gets sucked in. One and what it is, it is actually a betrayal by a friend, right? Like yeah. meaning, like he trusted a guy, and yeah. that kid, like you know, betrayed him. But, Set him up for failure. Yes, but yeah. unfortunately, like you know, we don't have the courage to stop there and not move forward, but we prolong that betrayal, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, so it goes to the next level where you betray our family. We steal from them mm -hmm. and like you know get into legal issue mm -hmm. break the law that's another betrayal right oh, and then you go for treatment now you are in the group and you say something and if by chance that is going to hurt by law they are mandated to report oh yeah right yeah. so you can be anonymous and you can be civilian reporting so that's where it gets little uh so where do you draw the line about hipaa there you know, know. so Recovery coaching came in. Interestingly, when I did recovery coaching, uh, five day program this DTS is doing, all recovery coaches are mandated reporters. All yeah. school is mandated reporters. So we're going to have more eyes on these trees that is mandated reporters. Mm -hmm. So it like gets a little scary, right? You know, pediatrician are mandated reporters. So we are having policing more from other areas. Oh, as yeah. well. And then uh, the spiritual way I'm looking at it is like, you know, now that our our whole company went into bankruptcy. That's another way of betrayal, right? Like, mm -hmm. like you know, like your colleagues, whoever it is you are working with, we are trusting each other. And somebody betrayed somebody, you know? Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't like, you know, we are all sinking together. It's the same yeah. ship. It doesn't matter who put the hole in, you know? Sure. We are all going down together. But the one thing that I learned uh, when I processed this was, I'm taking money from you to heal you. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's betrayal money. Let's think of it that way. Okay. okay. If it would make sense, if you understand, like in India, I mean, there is a currency or an exchange that happens. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a barter. Or like in, of some like, sort. like in, even in church, right? They yeah. pass on the ba yeah. basket and you yeah. put something in us. So if you have a request with your money, what the pastor or the spiritual person is doing is taking that mm -hmm. problem from you mm -hmm. and giving the healing. Oh. Right? That's the exchange. So if you think of it that way, what I took away from you is the betrayal. Yeah. And what you're getting is the healing. And I at see. some time when the SHIT hits the pay yeah. uh, on my level, yeah. <laughs> I need to work with it. Because it does, right? So it does because it's karma. What I'm taking away. Karma is what, you know, mm -hmm. it is actually not even an action. It's a thinking. Yeah. I'm taking the thinking from you that keeps you stuck. And I'm giving you a different thinking. That's what Moxon does. It's a mood stabilizer first. It is, it's, huh? Yes. And that's how you say, I don't have a craving. People always say, oh, this is the first time I didn't like, look for something. Yeah. I could do my normal day activity. That's the first thing. The second thing is, it's a pain manager. But the first thing in addiction is, it takes your mind running your body. When your mind is racing, your body is calm. Mm -hmm. That means you're bored with your life. Yes. So you need, to so you need to, Suboxone creates that ability not to be bored with your mind. If you understand that equation, you're way ahead. Oh, I understand. You're, you're three fourths graduated. Yeah. Oh, so I the last the one fourth is if in case your body is active mm -hmm. and your mind is exhausted, yeah. like you know, like indica, so you are tired. Yeah. And that's all right. So that's what I'm going to do with medication management. Actually, my teacher says it in another way. 
he says actually the mind plays a bigger piece about boredom and tiredness but i feel mind being tired yeah it cannot it cannot work with the body no. so mind exhaustion he says it in another way but like you know see i this please do not disagree with your teacher but i feel i understand where it's coming from mm-hmm. but it doesn't apply to my addiction situation the reason is i'm going to tell you he said it in another way yeah. and i'm going to use the same teaching so he will understand where i'm coming from way i reflected differently and this has been happening for me for all my life so that's why it finally dawned on me way it is because i work spiritually and i was given a pendant where this pendant was supposed to be a mantle meditation mantle but then the garland in the temple fell from the building top and what i got intuitively was that when you get bigger responsibility you will be getting bigger support so you use it the way you need to use it and actually i was asking hey what is my purpose each year like you know i i always spiritually go back to what is my purpose and i was told this year i need to work with water body and i have no idea what it means but mm. my teacher sent me this picture which means inside we are pure light okay yeah so i'm going to show like inside we are pure light and this is a lotus with pa- shovel head lotus okay so i saw in energy this guy like you know he's having a backpack falling over everywhere and is exhausted by the come by the time i he comes to see me mm-hmm. and i was told i am the black eyed susan and this is black eyed madonna okay. madonna is in slovakia they have a madonna who is black because we went to the caves to escape from our nazis yeah. the suit of the candle got to her face yeah and so she was called black madonna and when uh, the polish people try to take her statue out there was a scar that developed in her face you should watch it in wikipedia it's amazing yeah. and uh, when What's the scar black, black, what is it black eyed black like it's called black madonna black madonna okay i want to watch that black madonna is also black eyed susan and it's about transformation it's about okay. like, uh, the going through the hole yeah and uh, the to, to like how the drug addicts are in the hole yeah. and they said there is a story they sent out they said that the doctor comes by he feels very bad for this guy throws some pills at him okay mm-hmm. and it's like a sinkhole okay yes. and so he's sinking so there is another guy who comes he's a lawyer he says here like you know i'm going to give you free legal advice doesn't help you mm-hmm. there's a like you know another guy faster comes and prays over him doesn't help mm-hmm. and then there is another drug addict who goes by and he drops in with him he says what are you doing he says i know how to get out <laughs> no good so the group is that's cool you know so um, see like here see here her face oh yeah so that's yeah so that's scar that's because she was caught by the polish people and they took the hurt and they left her alone They tried to get her out and they left her yeah. alone after so. So in India also there is a black Madonna and this is black Madonna. Same, same story, same idea. No, it's a different idea. Like she was a warrior. Yeah. She hated and her name is called Kali. In India she'll have a tongue hanging out. Okay. And then she'll have a black ferocious face. Yeah. And then she'll be fighting. Yeah. And then in the middle when the baby cries, she'll stop the war, go, opens her boob, feeds and continues the war. <laughs> Unreal. So it's kind of the same sense because yeah. the mothers are the ones that will correct the situation. Yeah. Father, so the way my teacher told me, that's why I'm going to bring it up because the reason is when and I know how to get into the hole and I know how to get out because I lived this. That's why I wrote this story in the case of the dysfunctional family. So my whole oh, purpose is that. And we went to a blue sea motel. Look at that. That's my son's picture. and in 2006 me with my suitcase packed with a bus stand three of my kids blue sea motel <laughs> so that became my life so i know what you guys are going through i'm here for you because one at a person i want to give my life to you guys but at the same time i need to understand the rules so one of the things my teacher told me is we wanted to understand what is life so we asked this question so he said the minute the semen comes in to the female and it becomes a combination dna muscle is given our muscle body which is the body right 
the body's action is governed by father. Do you understand that? Okay. So the body belongs to our father's side. I see. And the first time the heart beats, mother gives mother. her energy. I so see. the heart belongs to mother. Mother keeps it going. And so the mother is the one that gives you right and wrong. Sometimes you might be foolish. She will say, oh, oh yeah. take three more beatings from your father. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> so you need to really respect that. And, you know, you say, mom, this is not working. So you have to all the respect. Actually, that's why in India, they say mother's word comes first. Because the word is vibration. And the word first starts with mom. Because the mom is the one that cools the baby, right? Yeah. Then the minute they slap your butt and you cry, your life, that is you. Yes. So the breathing space, the pure light is the expression of God through you. That right. space, nobody can take it away. And nobody can say you are a bad or a good because the same peace that made God is in you right. through your breathing space. That's why right, you cannot be judged. Nobody yeah. is allowed to judge you because even God cannot judge you because you are his extension. I we see. understand on the minute you take your first breath, you inspire, yeah. you're an inspiration to the world. Okay. So how you inspire is your choice, but yes. the ultimate purpose is for us so that in our breathing space, another person breathes easy. So if you're creating a field that is going to be dangerous for others, they're going to forcefully remove the self. But that doesn't yeah. mean you're a bad guy. Yeah. You know, you're not allowed to huff and puff near them. That's yeah. all, you know? So if you keep it simple, it makes sense. So when you take the last breath, you expire. So mm -hmm. inspire and expire is you. Everything is the world. Beautiful. So when the heart beats, the way we connect is through memory. So when our heart beats, when you feel love, we say, oh, I love this feeling. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to store it. And when your heart beats and you feel the feeling you create is sadness, is actually an ability for you to disengage with that relationship, right? You don't want to live with somebody who makes you teary eyed. No. And where is the tears coming from? Your memory, right? So that is the relationship you have with So cutting off the relationship and doing the right thing, serenity prayer, accepting what I cannot change, change the thing I, I can, and knowing the difference. And justice is never going to be enacted by law. Justice is different from law. But you take the law first, correct yourself. That's why actually in my book, the last page is based on a teaching symbol called, uh, this is in meditation given to me because I was deep in pain. I said, God, please show me. And the blizzard made this one. What it means is whatever your issue is, know what is legally correct. Balance this with what is morally fair. First, follow the law, and Dr. Dalai Lama says it very nice. Know the rules so you can break them properly. <laughs> so, where does this come from? By your memory, right? Yes. So, by saying, you like how my teacher said, the brain being not active, body being active is boredom. I disagree. Because the brain has to be active, and the body has to be calm. Yeah. For you to get it up addiction. Yeah, the body has to follow. Right? And that's why in uh, addiction, cannabis, the one thing I'm looking for is beta caryophyllin. Beta caryophyllin is the only one keeps the brain active and keeps body also active. Everything else disengages. One would be making mind strong, one would be making body strong. So if you understand beta caryophyllin, that comes from clove oils. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Yeah, so that's how I pieced it together. I'm going to show you. These are called terpenes. Now, this is my specialty. That's why I want to call it. That's how I call it. So, so the terpene that you need to work for is called beta caryophyll. And uh, we did a, like, you know, see, all this is the clear wine here I got. But beta caryophyll, I'm going to show you where in the terpene world it exists so we can understand. And it's CB2 receptors in the brain. The CB1 receptors work as uh, agonist. CB2 is antagonist. So it might be too much of a fancy words. Oh, no, I but beta caryophyllin is anti inflammatory. So it works both with digestive tract because you need to the great tryptophan so you can sleep better. Also, it's anti inflammatory.
penetrate the brain. Okay. This is what you need, black pepper. Black pepper, huh? But clove, anything like spicy variety. So if you look at this chart, right? Spicy, where is black pepper sitting? Clove, all these are in this room. Okay. So if you if you understand that logic, yeah. it's not T-H-E you're looking for, it's B-H-E. Okay, <laughs> that's so, so cool. So it's like, one on one session about medication management. This is what I'm going to run it as a group okay. on Tuesday night. So, if you want to learn more, come join me. Yeah, I would love to. I um... Because you want to be the best cannabis provider for you, right? Yeah. And I want to be the best researcher in the world. I'm a partner in a few people, one in Maine, Maine, the whole state. They yes. said they do telemedicine. So, they gave me credentials. So, they said I can sit in my office and run Maine nice. uh, cannabis work. And then in Sudbury, there is an institution that called me to come and become part of their research group. Nice. And I'm applying for my own research license. So we can all be sitting and be the expert. Yeah. And I'm trying to get a utility pattern because I've designed uh, a way to incorporate all this Everything via wants. frequency. Because what happens okay. is we talk with a tone. Yeah. And that tone tells me, uh, like if you're singing a music, right? Yes. So, uh, no, uh, I don't know whether I have that chart. I might not have it here. But when we talk, when we are high, our tone gets deeper. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. Big so, time. when we, when sometimes people, when they're angry, they'll have a high pitch. Yep. High pitch shows they're lacking B vitamins. Or, really? Or, yeah, methylation. So, they are not stabilizing their mood. Remember, that's what people get PMS. What did they do? The LSD hysterical. Yes. Right? So, you're getting PMS. Okay. So yeah. heart flashes is PMS. It's unbelievable. So bio, uh, like, you know, when you're in withdrawal, what happens first? You hold sweat. Yes. What are you going to do? You're going to be a banshee. Yes. Right? Yes. You're PMSing. Yes. So when Measurable. you get deep throat, your testosterone is very high. So when people are high, what do they do? They look for sexual release. Yeah. So you can see emotionally where you are. Like you know, mentally be your and just by talking, I am a vocal profiler. Yeah, just by a when just people talk to me, you I can figure out right what away. it is. Yeah, but right I know. Away. So what I decided to do is use that as a music. Yeah. If we change, I'm saying I'm going to say it in another way so you understand. If I tell you play a D note, can you play? No. Do you know how to say it? No. No. Yes. How? No. No, 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 but like what, what is it? So you've never heard about it. No. So you not play, right? No. If I'm going to say it in another way, you know. And do, have you ever heard about F note? No. And it, would you be able to play it? No. Okay, I'm going to say it. F note is actually a high pitch note. Okay. So if you say, shut up, that's F note. That's F note. And D note is, hey, don't be funny. Oh. But if you never hear D note. It gets soft. It's you pleasant. know why? Cannabis is D note. Really? Yes. And the F note is estrogen. And okay. what are you doing? Every time you eat meat, you're doing F note. Okay. So you are actually crying the animal's cry when it gave up its life. No kidding. Yes. So if you understand all that algorithm, That's you will incredible. see. So in addition, each note is in like a clockwise pattern. Okay. So if we change F note on the other side would be like a D sharp like or, or F. C sharp, is it C sharp? Because I can, like, I have to mentally see where yeah, it is. Visualize it. Yeah. So, so C sharp is like logics. Okay. So you just say, hey, it looks like you're upset. So validation has to. It looks like my husband. I used to do this. I actually had to learn a lot to cope with him first. So he would say, you're an idiot. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. So I'll say, okay, Keith. Uh, this is called voice mapping. So I map his voice to where he's at. Because it, it, there is a little piece of hurt in him. So I do want to see him. Yeah. So I say, do you think I need to learn more about this? Is that what you mean? So I teach him how to say it in another way. But he needs to come from a very healed place. Because if you play the same emotion, it's going to undermine them. Oh, yeah. So you need to really be the healthy one in that relationship. Yep. So, but you take a lot of mental skills. Oh, and who does that? Mom. Yes. So the bio memory is what we need to improve. So if you understand how to control your mind, doesn't yes. no matter what you use, whether it's a box of cannabis, you are master of your life. 
mind is what controls this whole world so to create healing in you you need to pay chinese checker so you move their marbles to the other side and if they are stuck in a thing they jump over so that's why my logo is chinese checker oh yeah <laughs> That's I know it's spiritual Chinese so checker. That's cool. Because you have to shift thinking. So my whole program is designed after uh, it, because this is what they use in incarcerated facilities. Oh. They call it's called thinking for a change. Yeah. And they don't teach it to gender public, but I went and learned from Vermont Correctional Officer. Thinking for a change. Anything in life. If you shift the other person thinking, you will change something. Oh yeah, and it's called integrated Re Re recovery outreach coaching. I rock, and it's a twenty-six week program. And this is what I teach. If you want to come to my groups, there'll be a little bit of medication management and what a little time bit. Is it on Tuesdays? Tuesdays, four to five thirty, and six thirty to eight. Two groups. The reason oh, yeah. I'm bringing it up, right, is once you finish the 26 week, you will get a certificate saying you finished this. Because oh. I am, uh, in addition, approved by um, every five hours you spend with me is one college credit. So you can claim credit. Really? I have a two year vocal math, voice mapping program I run. So I can train you and you can get certified in two years oh. to become a vocal provider. Because you're a walking life detector. Oh, yeah. I'll train you how to do that. No kidding. So everything is how we listen to people. I if we to, uh, listen to people, see the way you listen to people only through three rules. Everybody has a demon inside. Okay. Yes. By default. So like how in 12 step, it says one day at a time. Mm -hmm. In positive anonymous 12 step, it's one demon at a time. Oh. You don't attack all demons together. Not at once. Because you, it's it's not going to be a good strategy. Yeah, you can, so you can. Yeah, you can try, but it's so not too much. So the demon stops inside us first, because what it is is the memory of the demon outside we hold inside. So we need to release this demon inside first for us to kill it outside. Why do you want to store it? Why do you want to keep it rent free in your brain? Why do you want yeah. to do it, keep it rent free in your heart, rent free in your muscles? Yeah. So the first thing I teach is how to release the demon. So the demon when you release is really bad it's going to ask so many things because oh, yeah. people don't want to deal with you being awake no. and activated you know so yeah. they want you to be sleeping and in a slumber mm -hmm. you being awake is like one guy told me when he was in the recovery first time he noticed a lot of hair in his bathroom he was so annoyed with the same oh. and they were ticked off that he was not minding his business oh. apparently he was sleeping for 30 years i don't yeah. know just realized it <laughs> He has been there forever. So, <laughs> so, but hey, so uh, th this is like kind of a synopsis of what I want to do. Okay. So I am going to say, because people say I talk way ahead of them. Yeah. And I'm going to say this for 26 weeks so you understand me. Yeah. Because I think it is it's not that about, yeah. complicated. Yeah. It's to release the demon. I'm going to bring it up again. Problem solving skills only three things. You say, hey, I'm thinking this way. You literally put your fingers and say, I'm thinking this way. And I feel I want to jump into the uh, ocean and die. What do you think? So the second skill is social skills. You say, I'm thinking this way. You tell me, what is it that is here? So that guy will say, okay, you know, this is what happened to me. And I did this. So you say, okay. I'm thinking this way. I want to jump in the ocean. When I ask the other guy, he says, oh, take a five deep breath. So the problem solving skills, ah, ha, ha, I can make five breaths. Yes. That'll help. Stupid. Yeah. That's all it is. We talk about it for 26 weeks. No kidding. <laughs> because to get the demon out, my teacher gave me a very simple technique. Okay. It's three things. That's all to get the demon out. And actually there's a video he did called Kill Your Inner Demons. The first thing is you need to listen to you. And how do you do that? Is our thought come? He says each thought we create inside is a thorn. So it's like having a prickly rose bush with no flower. Okay. okay. So it comes from our belly to our vocal cords, thinking, thinking, and we spit out our thinking. Okay. Yes. Because we cannot control the poison inside. Okay. So by understanding each thought we produce, 
with the I am insulted, I am violated, I, 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 and the thinking is gone. Okay. I and the thinking. If you disengage and not allow a relationship with the thought, I did the deep, and then just take a deep breath. I without thought is the first that you are aware. Even if people say you are miserable, you say, when I woke up, I took my first breath, I checked in with me, I was good. I disagree. Yeah. So I, and then not associating with the thought is awareness. That's when you start listening. Oh. So when you listen, there is no problem. But when you do not associate with the I, instead you are just engaging with the thought that is dreaming. If you are not associating with the I, and you are not associating with the thought, you are thoughtless and eyeless. You are in a deep sleep, in a coma. So the addiction is deep sleep coma and addiction in recovery when you are just thinking but not taking responsibility mm -hmm. is dreaming still because you're not still showing up in life yeah so we don't want that so that's no. all so the first thing is listening to you how do you listen to you not spitting up thinking mm -hmm. just be in the eye space and listen yes. what people are saying people are saying something that we are not even hearing yeah the second thing is once we understand how we listen to us, because what we are doing is housing them inside and we are replaying their tape again and again. Oh, and again. Yeah. So when they come from first, we spit out, you know. So instead, when they come into your place and they say something, you're truly going to listen by not arriving at a conclusion. So they say, I had a miserable day. So what we are hearing is, you made me miserable. Yeah. So instead, like, you know, uh, you say, like you know you just listen don't come into a conclusion and you just if you want to be responsible for that you say how can i make it better you don't even need to do it or you can say what is it the fact that's going on that makes you say that what about the day made it miserable right so yeah. how is if you're going a little bit above and beyond what is first your fact checking mm -hmm. so just get the facts out of them yeah. And once you listen to them from a place not coming into conclusion, you can influence them by talking. That's when the demon starts getting out. Okay. So when the demon Makes starts sense. getting out, you become the leader of the family. Oh, so okay. then you're demonless. Oh. So that's all. Kill the inner demons. Only three strategies. Listen to you. Listen to others. Influence others. Be the leader. Influencing will only happen provided you didn't come at the conclusion and you're able to listen to them. And the last part of being a leader is you will be able to influence them by associating their problem and saying it in a way with a oneness space. Like you would say, Yeah, I think this is the problem. Mm -hmm. It's exactly opposite, and this is how you're able to So, like how social skills, yeah. so you would be instead of thinking, you're going to do the social skills and say, You know what? That exactly happened to me, and this is what I do. And that's when the problem comes and gets better and better. That's when I solve the problem. We are going to do this 26 weeks. Okay. When, uh, my issue right now is I don't have the driver's license. Okay. When, when does it start? Every Tuesday night. It's, you don't an, need on, to... it's an ongoing thing. Yes. So yeah, you, okay. can, you can decide when you want to come. The, the reason I want to build on is this is going to be on YouTube. What oh. do you want? Just my part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you, my, um, Recovery Coaching Channel is HealNow.tv because when you write H E A L N O W, it's a command word. Every word has power. Yes. The minute you put HealNow.tv, whatever is bothering you is healed already, even before you see me. So I, I drive you to get there yeah. and then only watch the video. Yeah. So you are already healed. You're trying so to you're coming already. to the place where you're listening without coming into conclusion. Yes. You're already interested. In yes. 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 You are I'll already see. invested in you. Yes. Because the ultimate point is for you to breathe so you can be in fresh. Right? That's all I'm looking for. Yeah. Because I feel I see the light in you before you see the light in me. And that's what God sees in me. Yes. He sees the light in me. And that's why he gave me a bigger, bigger yes, chain. That's why I got the big chain. <laughs> yes. Big chain. So, what I want to ask you is, I'm going to create every recovery coaching will have a unique title. So okay. what do you want me to talk uh, as a title? So you would know when you're looking at my healnow.tv, you would say, heal now, space, this word, it will pull it up the video. Oh. What was the gist of this conversation about this? 
it was about healing and finding myself and obviously getting rid of the demons inside me is it's a beautiful start to it okay <laughs> inner demons inner demons uh that's what healing comes back. inner demons healing inner demons okay. perfect so that that sounds perfect very nice i'm so proud of you yes that